Well, today's Thursday, March the 18th, and we will be in Psalm 57 today. And it's a wonderful reminder of the essence of true worship, the real strength of the Christian life. You know, it's not always having our prayers answered or experiencing victory in all the challenges we face. The real joy of the Christian life comes from something deep within the Spirit that is communing or fellowshipping with or at least acknowledging wholeheartedly the person and the presence of God. And so David had learned this. But, you know, back in the ancient days when people had more contemplative time to themselves, where, in David's case, watching the sheep, uh, laying out in, uh, in the fields at night to look at the stars while the sheep slept, a lot of time to ponder and think about great things, which is why um, so many transcendent thoughts uh, originated back in ancient times. We are so busy now. And we occupy our minds with so much entertainment and exterior stimulation, we rarely sit and, and look up at the stars or look at nature or uh, look at animals or even watch mankind and marvel at the grace and the goodness of God. But David did that. And one thing he noticed was God must be merciful or we could not still exist. So listen to what he writes in Psalm 57, verse 1 and verse 9 through 11 as he glorifies God. And let this be in your heart and mind today. Be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful to me. For my soul trusts in you. And in the shadow of your wings, I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. That's verse 1. Then verse 9. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing to you among the nations. For your mercy reaches into the heavens, and your truth unto the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. God's mercy. Thank God he is merciful. And not only is he merciful in nature, he is merciful in action. And he is generous and benevolent with his mercy. As Paul said in in his uh, testimony, I, I am the chief of sinners. And then even as a believer, he uh, said that the things I want to do, I, I don't want to do. The things I don't want to do, I find myself doing. There's a war raging within me. Um, a, a sense of humility that you and I need the mercy of God and that we are sustained by the mercy of God, that we are strengthened by the mercy of God. And then to realize how vast it must be to, in order to, to buoy up the entire human race and every believer can be cleansed and forgiven and walk in grace because God's mercy is grace. God, it's great. That's why David said it extends above the heavens. It extends above the earth. It is so high we cannot attain it uh, and, and we can't um, contain it. We can't comprehend it. And thank God that is so, because you and I are really very rarely fully aware of the depth of our own depravity and our insufficiency and the ways that we displease God or quench or grieve the Holy Spirit. We, we just sort of walk through life insensitive to our weaknesses and our frailties other than to complain about them and to excuse them and, and hope for compensation. But when we come to God, Always remember to thank him for his mercy. When the Bible talks about come to God with praise and thanksgiving, part of that is thanking him and praising him for being a merciful God who has shown us mercy. That's the reason you and I can come boldly before the throne of grace. So as you go through this day, and maybe you don't have a lot to thank God for today. Maybe things in your life are really rough right now, and understandably so. We all have been through phases like that. But all of us can thank God every day for his mercy. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a merciful God and that your mercy isn't just your attitude or your perspective. It governs your actions. And you've been very merciful towards us. You have restrained your punitive hand and instead you have lifted us up to be right with you because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. I pray for each one of us today as whatever we, we might face this day, whatever weaknesses of our own or failures of our own we might be confronted with, that we will fall back on your mercy and be sustained and find strength 
and grace and peace and comfort. And then lift our voices in praise to you for being a merciful God. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow on Friday.